would now like to do is I would invite Miss Kelly, who is behind me, and she will say a few words about the prize winners in Grey Town. Thanks very much. Okay, so good afternoon, parents. Uh, teachers and students who are receiving awards and our other students. This is one of the nicer jobs as a grade level leader, the day that we get to celebrate our students' achievements in the classroom, outside the classroom, in the corridors. So uh, I can just say that I feel really honoured today that I'm actually getting to present some of these awards to some of these students. Um, they've worked really hard throughout the year and everyone who got an award today is or exceptionally deserving of it. Uh, it's not always about being the best student in terms of your academics and that's why we have different award categories today. So some of our students are getting awards for attendance like Mr. Thomas said just a second ago and the more you're in school the more you can improve and this is really showing in terms of our most improved students as well this year. Uh, so I'll start off with the boys and I'm going to ask them to come up to the stage one by one. So, uh, for academic excellence, this year's award goes to Abdullah al -Wazan. So, Abdullah's teachers uh, voted for him unanimously because of always turning work in on time and constantly working hard to get a better result. Always looking to know what we can do to him. is for Amro al Kara. This is for Zuki and Behavioral Excellence. I think every teacher voted for Amro for this award because of his smiling face every day, constantly looking to help, always moving out. Next, I'm going to invite up Abdullah and Missouri. And <laughs> Abdullah has only missed one or two days in the whole year, and one of these days we had to send him home because he was very ill. So Abdullah has improved massively, and it's all down to being in school every day. Next, we would invite up Ethan, please. And this is for Outstanding Art. Again, just like the other boys, Ethan's in school every day and is always looking to see what he can do to improve his grade or how he can help the teachers. And the last word for the boys category is for Abdullah al Mazabi. worked on that and there's been a big improvement across subjects and behaviour, so well done Abdullah. And now it's time for the ladies. So our Academic Excellence Award this year was definitely unanimous and if we could vote for the whole school I'm sure all teachers would agree with me in voting for uh, Sheikha al -Kasmi. Sheikha is an absolute perfectionist and her work is more often than not at a university standard. <laughs> Next up is Kabel Treasurer, a girl you will always see with a smile on her face. She's getting the work today for social and behaviour lessons.
with a special grade in the school. One of the code that we like to start with or modify code, which is when there is a will, there is a way to success and excellence. Our grade nine students worked very hard during this year and shared in many educational activities. I'm so proud to be their grade leader for this year and present the certificates for them. Let us start with grade nine boys. There is a marvelous student in our grade nine boys who is keen to work hard and have great results. This student deserves the Academic Excellence Award. I'm introducing the amazing student, Khaled Abdullah al -Hosan. Khaled, all the teachers voted for him to be or to receive this award. And one of our champions who will receive the Social and Behavioral Excellence Award is the wonderful student Badr Sulaiman Muhammad, but unfortunately he is out. Attendance, as Dr. Jake and Mr. Thomas mentioned, that it's very crucial to achieve success. The Outstanding Attendance Certificate goes to an amazing student, Muhammad Badr al -Bad. Muhammad, his attendance was great this year. For this, he deserves this effort. And we can find discipline, commitment, diligence, integrity, and many other descriptions in our lovely student, Muhammad Abdul Nasser bin Isha, who deserves the Outstanding Character Award. All these descriptions and more and more, Muhammad have all these descriptions. There is a wonderful and lovely student who keeps smiling, who worked very, very hard this year to earn the most improved award. Everyone can guess who is this student. He is Muad al Aram. So Moaz did a great job during semester two. For this, he is deserving this award. And now, it's the ladies and girls' turn with an amazing grade nine girls who is difficult to choose among these lovely and wonderful students, but we have to choose one. For the first award, which is Academic Excellence, goes to mar a marvelous, fantastic, and genius student, Mariam Omran Juma. Also, most of the students voted for Mariam to earn this award. Mariam is keeping asking questions, searching, learning to earn this offer. And there is an amazing student who knows how to deal with situations, different situations of friends and teachers. She deserves the Social and Behavioral Excellence Award. This student is Hanin Hisham Fathal. Hanim can deal with different situations. She is a great in her academic also achievement. And the outstanding attendance award goes to a wonderful and lovely student who keeps smiling and keeps sometimes talking, Mariam Khamis al -Mazrua. <laughs> A 
And one more thing for Mariam, that today is her birthday. And one of our students in grade 9 showed a huge academic improvement during semester 2. The most improved award goes to a fantastic and lovely student, Mahra Abed al -Bray. Mahra did a great effort during semester 2. For this, she is deserving this award. And there is an outst outstanding character, Aliyatia Ahmed Al Hosani, but unfortunately is absent today. But then I'd like to congratulate all the students and their parents for these certificates. They said, wow, Mr. 63 kids, how long did you take it? I said, they are sitting in front of me. And the kids said, oh, Mr. you are joking. But really, these kids do feel like my own children. It feels that I need to protect them. I need to make sure that they have the best education possible. And it's not difficult. These kids are wonderful. I wish I could give each and every one of them a certificate, an award for something they did this year, because they were absolutely wonderful. But we want to thank each and every parent, because the students are here, they are getting an award with your guidance. They can't do this without you, and as a school, as a middle school, high school staff, we want to thank you as well, and we wish we can give you something as well. So it's my pleasure to announce the awards for grade eight. Now, I promise the grade eights are normally here. We normally have a high attendance. Um, I apologize for my voice in advance. Um, the Academic Excellence Award goes to Khalid Ali Al Saud. Um, the Social and Behavior Excellence Award goes to Hamid Muhammad Al Ghafi. He's unfortunately also absent. <laughs> Now this one, I apologize, the student is struggling. Um, the Outstanding Attendance Award goes to Ilya Mugatash. That is unfortunately absent. But you are. Now here's my saving grace. Um, the Outstanding Character Award goes to Usama Ahmed Alwadi. but he has proven in a very short time that he's very helpful, he's always smiling, you can always trust in whatever you do. He's academically strong and he's got a lot of friends. Alright, the most improved student will be Saif Ahmed al -Bunan. that is unfortunately also absent. <laughs> Um, but I am very proud to introduce my girls. They are in fact here. The Academic Excellence Award goes to Mara Muhammad Al Ali. Mara has achieved top marks in six other subjects and she's an extremely hard worker. She puts in a lot of effort into her academics and we are extremely proud of her performance.
Right. Um, the Social and Behaviour Excellence Award goes to Aisha Rashid El Shamsi, and she's unfortunately absent as well today. Now, a student that has been working with me this week, that has been here every single day, she was one of two students in my class this week. We worked together with math. Um, outstanding attendance, Najla Isa Al Sun. She's, even though she was only one of two students in my math class, she was smiling, she was working hard, she comes to school ready to learn, and for that, we are very proud of her. Oh. All right. The Outstanding Character Award goes to Raya Ali Al -Nab. of energy and she bounces like a bouncy ball and she smiles and she talks and she laughs but she is always willing to help her teachers she's willing to help her friends and it's a pleasure to have Raya in our class the student that has improved the most academically is Bedria Hamad El Kid. <laughs> Bedria has shown improvement in each of her subjects. She has shown that she is a hard worker and that has clearly shown in her academic performance. <laughs> I can say honestly that this group of students and even the students that are not receiving an award today. I am extremely proud of them and it's a pleasure to have students like this in the Grade 8 group. Please give them a round of applause. Please, Mira, can you come to the stage? 
نغم get the uh, social and behavioral excellence outstanding attendance goes to Shahid and outstanding character and sorry most improved goes to Shamsa Thank you to the parents because you've been there for the kids and it, when I call you or you know to give you positive the, the, the positive um, calls and also the calls that we need to work on something with the child I am very very grateful and to the kids for their hard work and their commitment they decided to be called future leaders because that is what they're working for they are working very hard all of them all of them they're amazing fantastic phenomenal, terrific, and they know it. And I um, I wish I could give awards to each and every one of them because they deserve it. They worked very hard this year. And with that being said, let me go ahead and start. It was difficult to select um, the students because believe me, um, many of them have achieved so much this year. So for outstanding, the outstanding student, academic outstanding, no, academic essence, and as well as outstanding attendance goes to Omar Saad. <laughs> Always doing his best and helping and uh, achieving. His work is phenomenal. Okay, for social behavior and um, for social behavior excellence, Amr Khaled Sal. He is always there to help support anyone and everyone who is in need of anything. So we're very happy to have him and his work also. Outstanding character, always leading, always helping, always uh, helping someone else who uh, it, the teachers can count on him. So this goes to Muhammad Ahmed Al Mahed. Most improved. This one, I gotta tell you, it takes a village to raise a child. And uh, we work together, um, the teachers, parents, and everyone. And his improvement is phenomenal, um, fantastic. Uh, behavior, academically. We're all very proud to have him. And that goes to Mansur Badr Al Fasadi. for teachers to select from these six graders because they all were working very hard and uh, this was a very competitive I'm, I'm telling you very competitive because they were all giving their best okay and if we made mistakes it's okay we will improve them and we would take do it again and again until we got it right and so with that being said um, the award for academic excellence goes to Aisha Muhammad <laughs> Okay, 
our next award is Social and Behavioral Excellence, and that award goes to Amna Ali Aswadi. Amna was always and is always helping someone else, and not only that, but it, 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 she goes out of her way to make sure that everyone is on board, and that they, a team creates a team spirit, making us all feel like, yes, we, we all can move up, so, okay. Our right, next award, and which, you know, uh, again, again, everybody has consistently said attendance. If the child is not here, it is difficult, and actually losing an opportunity, and it's difficult for them to get all the information, all the learning in to reach their potential. So attendance is crucial. And this child has been here every single day. Um, and for that, she's getting the award, Naama Abdullah al -Lahani. Outstanding character, and this one goes to Sara Saleh Al Abaudi. Abaudi. And she's been. Her character of uh, doing always what's in the best interest of her and everyone else, and uh, supporting. Um, Again, it's it's outstanding, and like I said, these, these awards were very competitive, and it was hard for teachers to decide on who should receive them. Okay, and our last one, this child improved a lot academically. Behavior was was she was amazing, but it, academically, it, sometimes when you know we we're all sometimes stuck in one thing, and then when we go ahead and there's a window that opens with the light, and then wow, everything opens up, and then we just shine, because, you know. So that's the, this child, Fahra Khaled al Mohari. She's the first. And I want to thank everyone. It takes a village to raise a child, and I'm very proud of each and every one of our students, and of the parents, and of the, the, our administration, and everyone, because we're working hard to achieve our potential. And as one of the students, actually, Mahal was saying, yeah, by, by improving ourselves, we're improving everyone in our community, in our country. And that's exactly what I would say our four founders, our leaders, wanting from the, the, the children to improve everyone so that this country is standing amongst the first at the top, competing, being number one. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, last but not least. I just want to give parents a, a very brief rundown on Literacy Pro. This year, not grade 10, but 6, 7, 8 and 9 have had access. There's two parts, actually three parts to Literacy Pro. Online e-books, every child has a username and password. In English is the first part. In Arabic is the second part. There's not as many there, but they're working on it. And the third part is the testing to see how much during the course of the year your child's Lexile, it's, it's valued in Lexiles to see how much it's improved. The first thing I just want to add is that I'm very grateful to the English teachers who have really supported me, Mr Thomas who's got behind Literacy Pro with me this year and Miss Manal who uses her Literacy Pro in her science lessons a lot with the older students. So those students are accessing it regularly. I want to add, they all have access through summer. 
So please, they know their username and password, get them on there and read. We don't want them to come back next year with their reading going backwards. So they all have access to online e-books. So my awards today are about how much students have improved their lexite, their reading comprehension, their ability to understand what they have read. I didn't go year by year, I just took the top five improvers across the grades. So I'll be calling them out and I think some of these students might even be surprised by, by their own abilities because it's not just reading the books on Literacy Pro, that's only one part. It's reading books from the library, it's reading books at home, it's reading what your teacher has asked you to read to prepare for your subjects. And by doing their schoolwork and following up their homework, they're the other ways that you improve your reading. So today, starting with number five, going up to number one with our improvers. From 8BB, we have Muhammad Fadal Salaman Ahmed Al Hamadi. Is he here? He improved by 145 lexites. An average over a year is probably about 50. So he's been working very hard. Our next improver is from Six Girls A, which is, I think it's A, Sharina Yakub Yusuf Al Hamadi. <laughs> with a whopping 174 lexiles. Now I know that Sharina hasn't logged into Literacy Pro a lot to read the ebooks, but I also know she's been working extremely hard in her English class, making sure she does everything as well as she possibly can. And this is what happens. Uh, number three, from 9B, Abdulaziz Abdullah Salem Al Hamad. His score, his lexile improved by 180. Next we have from 8BA, Farhad Bassam Faris. Is he here? Okay. 186, and then our top improver for the year, and I just have to add, this child is in grade six. He was already our highest lexile in the school, which makes it really, really hard to in increase. But I can tell you, he is in the library reading every day. And this is what happens. So he's already improved this year by 267 lexiles, and that's Nasser Al Masabi. <laughs> I haven't got it written down, but his lexile has hit something like 1,550, which is well into university standard of reading and comprehension. This is about comprehension.
case any parent or student isn't aware of that, I would just also like to remind you that report cards will be issued on the 4th of July at 12 o'clock to all students, okay, they will not be ready until that date. Also that classes remain as normal up until the 4th of July. So while I understand some of our families have had to go travelling, we are still here, we are still available to teach your children, okay, all we need is to have your child in class. Finally, a huge thank you to all the parents who've taken time off work, who've given us their time to come for the last hour and sit through all the certificates. It's hugely appreciated and we look forward over the next year working with you as well. So thank you very much. Okay, so finally I'd just like to thank you. So Mr. Joseph will lead any parents down to the cafeteria where there's some light refreshments. So if you can just follow Mr. Joseph, if the students can just wherever you are, we can follow on in a few minutes, okay?